Welcome back to the Chrono Trigger playthrough here at Trippy Commentaries. We We're are back. in the cathedral. We must find the queen. We have acquired a new partner, Mr. Frog, who also wants to save the queen. So. Senor Frog. Not too bad. And we have found a nice little room here where we can get some goodies. The maiden suit. Interesting. Who do you think the maiden suit uh, should be equipped to? Uh, I have no idea, but let's <laughs> check it out. Alright, so we have three henches. These are new guys we have to contend with here. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the fire world to try to get rid of them pretty quickly. Uh, these guys really aren't too tough to deal with. Their defense is a little bit high um, if you try to go with normal attacks, but special attacks completely destroy them, as you can see. Uh, Frog, who's normally powerful, couldn't manage to do much, but that's okay. We'll just continue with normal attacks. They'll add up eventually, and we will defeat the Hench. One more shot to the face by Luca's Hammer, and that should do the trick. Now, uh, one thing I did grab, of course, was there was a hidden piece there, so let's see what we got here. Of course, you can go to Luca. And we can equip the Maiden Suit to power her up. And this is why I mentioned in the last part, I'm not a big fan of buying uh, items right off the bat. As we can find stuff. Yeah, you'll find plenty of suitable upgrades just through, the, through playing the game. Mm -hmm. Right here, we have the Steel Saber. Perfect. So we can, of course, give that to Chrono as he is using a pathetic wooden sword. Don't know why you would do that. <laughs> that's not going to help your cause. Hey, that's what Link started queen. with, man. <laughs> and he quickly found another sword to replace it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and run in here and... Oh, we got some friendly faces and a shiny object. Power yes. tab. We'll definitely want to use that. Oh, nice. Please rescue her. We have a turn... Yeah, he's helping us out. A turncoat. Absolutely. Well, these guys are... Uh, Nice. Well, remember they didn't want us. You know, they wasn't. They weren't gonna allow Chrono to enter the castle previously. So I figured that they might have. You know, not good standing with them. Yes. Plus, there's enemies all around. Are they? You know, are they hiding out? What's going on? Good point. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and take out these guys. Oh, got me. So, <laughs> we're making our way through the cathedral here. A lot of uh, Diablos to contend with. Um, really not too difficult of a section here until we get deeper into the dungeon, so it's not going to be too bad. And we have a little comedic relief coming up as well, which is always good. Mm -hmm, Chrono, Trigger. Chrono Trigger does a good job with that. So this is where the Chancellor has been spending his days in this kind of <laughs> environment? What's going on here? Am I missing something? Hmm. A couple of purple snakes, as they are called, Nashers in this game. Let's get them out of the way here. One more hit, and that should get rid of these guys. As you can see, the active RPG style really keeps the game flowing. It really makes it fun. Yep. And certainly is a lot better than most other turn-based RPGs, in my opinion. A necessary evolution. So here we have the break room. Uh, they believe that we are in disguise, so we have no re uh, no room to worry here. Apparently, they are all on shift work. Yeah, we're taking a break. Hmm. The two soldiers we caught took rather look rather plump and juicy. So those guys we. S Found in the back there are going to be dinner tonight. It's a rather disturbing uh, plot twist. Yakra so smart. His plan to capture the Chancellor and take his place worked perfectly. Ah, uh, Yakra. So huh? the Chancellor isn't bad after all. He just has been switched out. We must find the real chan or the yeah the real Chancellor, the Queen's captive. All right. So this guy completely just gave us all we need to know, and. Who's this guy? Let's follow him. Where are you going? Behind door number one, we will find the queen. 
So yeah, pretty good here. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> oh, what a relief. Nice. Queen, we have saved you. No need for you to come and rescue me. What the hell? Yakra is very kind. What the? Okay, not exactly what I expected to hear. All I right. I think she's possessed. You think so? Hmm, let's grab she's these items. She's been brainwashed. It's very unfortunate. 100 Gs and an ether. All right, Queen, you're coming with us. I don't care what you think. So she keeps repeating the same thing. So let's say fuck it and just leave. Uh-oh. As you suspected, something was wrong. And we have three pathetic Nashers. Let's wait until Luke is available. There we have it. Let's go ahead and fire whirl them. And Frog should be able to take care of the rest. Take that. <laughs> you have no chance. It's pretty powerful, that's for sure. So we must move further into the dungeon here, the cathedral. And unfortunately we did not have the queen. Looked like we might have beaten it already. But it was too good to be true. It's never that easy, man. The slurp cut. There we go. Slurp. And we got X-Strike. As we are upgrading our characters very quickly, which is awesome. So let's move up here. These guys have come back. Let's skip them. Stop intruders. Oh, man, another ambush. Now, one thing we got to point out in this game that's a lot different than other RPGs is many other RPGs, of course, you just walk through the, the area and randomly you'll get into battles. You know, you can't really control it. Right. This is different for the most part. You can see the enemies on screen and you can choose to walk uh, into them. That way you attack them. Sometimes you can hug the walls to get around them. Yeah, you can avoid them. Now, many other situations, you will have an ambush where you can't, you know, you can't help it. You're going to get in a battle, so you do got to watch out for those at times. Oh, it looks like our characters are almost dead. Let's go ahead and heal them up after we finish off this last Diablos here. In the end, it's all about the experience points. Sometimes the repetitive, you know, battles, they'll kind of wear on you. But after a while, you're, you'll gain up a lot of the, the G, you know, you'll gain up yeah. a lot of tech points. And it'll pay off. Hmm. Damn it. We're so close to the save point. Ah, but I know there's one more battle that lies ahead. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Screw you guys. I feel like I can take you. And if they... The good thing is in this game, uh, you know, even if we die, it they'll be rehealed right away with one health point. So it's not yeah. too bad. Aha. Keep attacking frog. Perfect. Our plan worked and... Hopefully this should work. Sword to the face, 102. Oh, critical hit. Chrono is a badass mofo. That takes care of that. I think Chrono has possibly the best uh, lead character name of the old gen RPGs. Mm. You got Link, you got Cloud, you got many others. Um, Interesting. Chrono's, Chrono takes the cake. Uh, let's see, I want to see what you want to do here is go into your items and go to shelter. I grabbed a couple extras, so we yep. can use that. And voila, booyah, <laughs> we are back to 100%. Let's do this. Now this is going to be a pretty intricate area we have to go through. And you just got one back. I know, it's awesome. I love it. Let's go down this way first. Whoa, it's a trap. It's a trap. As many games have you do, we must fight a bat. Always fun. And a hench has pulled a nice maneuver there by sliding down. Let's check out the extra. Ah, eh, actually not, not worthy. Let's just finish off the bat normal. Bats are a little bit annoying, but they go down pretty quickly, so you can't complain too much. Nice. Man, that battle theme just never gets old. I could listen to it on loop for hours, and True. it's always, it always, you know, drives you. Yeah, and the boss themes also are very good in this game. Oh yeah. Uh, we're gonna be praising the music all play through long, but it's okay. It deserves it. Some Diablos and a Mad Bat. 
I gotta say, one thing we gotta credit this game for is having a nice difficulty uh, curve. It goes up at a nice pace. It does. I mean, there's some complaints I would have with this, possibly this dungeon being a little bit too easy, but then again, we come well prepared. We come with shelters. We know where the save points are gonna come, so it helps us for sure. Yeah, you already know what you're doing. That's a big advantage. If you're a first time player, you know, we, we might be uh, talking to some people out and people on YouTube might be watching our video. They've never played Chrono Trigger. They might have been born, you know, the year it came out. And now they're getting into games and they're, you know, mostly into the new gen stuff. Mm -hmm. So coming back and rediscovering some of these old games that, you know, us old time gamers are in love with and will probably be playing yeah. until the end of time. Absolutely, and I gotta say, for anybody watching this playthrough who hasn't played Chrono Trigger, this really is a must-play game. There's a lot of other RPGs that are considered all-time classics that are not must-plays, and quite frankly, they really don't stand the test of time, so I probably wouldn't waste your time playing them. Like, games like Final Fantasy VII, which was fun for the day, hasn't really stood the test of time too well. This game, on the other hand, I just feel like it's always going to be near perfection. You know, you have awesome 2D sprites, great graphics, even though it's for the Super Nintendo. It's almost like you're looking into a painting or a drawing, and the gameplay just holds up. Yeah, it's the peak of my Super Nintendo nostalgia. Really? I've spent countless hours listening to, you know, this music is ingrained in me. Yeah. And I've spent me so much time playing through the whole game and you get all the, all this music and it just becomes part of your uh, you know vocabulary now uh, one thing I want to ask you about as we battle through some henches here as far as best villain in an RPG who do you got off the top of your head I mean I I really like the one from this Lavos um, Kefka though I have to my vote goes to Kefka yeah, definitely. A little bit more evil. And uh, maybe it's just because he's, you know, he's human, but... Yes, he then turns into, <laughs> like, a god. Yeah. It's crazy in the end of that game. Yeah, Kefka's epic. And Lavos is one of those characters... I mean, he's not much... He's more of a monster. He's, exactly. He's, you know, monster of time. So we don't really have to deal with him a ton. He's one of those guys we're constantly hearing about. We know his presence is always you know right there under the surface of the planet and he's certainly one of those final bosses that you really feel like it's going to be nearly impossible to overcome but you know of course he doesn't have a lot of character traits <laughs> unlike uh, Kefka yeah so Kefka you really see the evolution of throughout that game pretty excited to play through that one eventually of course same here more Mad Bats as we take care of the rest of the cathedral here. Trying to find the queen. She must be hidden in the back somewhere. The bats are not going to stop us. Hammer to the face. Nice. Got plenty of money here. We're definitely racking up the G's. <laughs> Hench is asleep on the job. Let's wake him up. <laughs> Paul? Man, and this game is certainly going to evolve. You know, right now we're tackling this small little cathedral and we're going to really be getting into some epic stuff. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, so many uh, amazing adventures to come. Traveling through time, it's something that really wasn't done well, if at all, in other games. Yeah. All right, so those two switches allow us to come into here, and check out this room. And I think we're gonna wanna bust out the heavy artillery, so let's test out the X-Strike. Yeah. This is gonna completely vanquish this guy, that's for sure. Really not super powerful, but <laughs> good enough. Let's go ahead and do the flame toss. really burns that guy up. A couple bosses to get through here, not too bad. Some mooks. Yep. Spin kick to the face. This guy is 
Diabolos like to do that a lot. Now this is a game to me that has such strong characters and such a great storyline. Why hasn't there been a movie adaptation yet? Mm, it would make for a good movie. Um, you definitely would have to make a really good CG version of Frog. Right. Um, and they have had some cool little updated, you know, cutscenes of this game that I think are pretty interesting. It's it's highly anime, as you can imagine. <laughs> but uh, pretty awesome. I'm talking live action, Hollywood. You know, their ideas lately have been pretty stale. They're going with a lot of remakes. Tackle some other, uh, you know, old books and games that would really lend themselves well to uh, motion picture. Now, I would gotta say, Chrono Trigger would have to be like, kind of like a, um, kind of like a Lord of the Rings trilogy or something like that. Yeah. Um. Ah, we'll just go with. That. I was tempted to use a shelter, but we don't need it. Let's just go this way. All right, so all the things we just did have now uh, had a secret door show up. Let's walk in, and we have the final gauntlet before we get to the boss room in this dungeon. So let's go ahead and fight our way through. And we have heard of this mighty Yakra here. That's an interesting name for a, a boss character, you have to say. Wonder Yakra. What, yeah, I wonder what, if there's any hidden meaning behind Yakra. I haven't heard of any myself, but I, I actually I heard of a couple theories, but nothing concrete, okay. I'll say that. Um, so we are trying to save not only the queen, also Marley, of course, who's disappeared into existence. And we now know that the, the chancellor, chancellor has been kidnapped as well. And somehow they have taken the Chancellor's form. I don't know what kind of voodoo they're doing. Hopefully it's not the uh, face-off technology. You know, John Travolta, oh, Nick God. Nicolas Cage. Oh, man. That epic John Woo classic. Oh, man. Nicolas Cage. Anything he is in is an instant classic. I don't care what you say. Not the bees. One of the best actors of our generation. All right. Two more guys to destroy here. And... I think we all know what, you know, that door looks pretty ominous. <laughs> and we shall have our first massive battle of the game. Damn! That smacked the hell out of Chrono's face there. Take that! Ooh. I vanquished you, foe. That's always a good sound when he has that double hit and it's got that, oh, uh, yes. you know, awesome. steel Shing. sound. All right, so we've made it to a save point. We will reheal ourselves, and in the next episode, we will be jumping into our first major battle in the game. And we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. Peace out, guys. We'll see you then.